Hello everyone, this is Jopke. I'm showing you some cards that I just recently created um, while I was inspired by some videos that I watched uh, from Crafting Vicky. Uh, she creates a lot of cards using up her stash, like her scraps and painted papers and magazine papers and also she recycles old cards like Christmas cards and um, turn them into new ones and I really really was inspired by that and I also wanted to use up uh, some of my uh, scraps and painted papers uh, so I thought to give it a go and try to create a few of uh, of them myself and these are a couple that I already created and I'm going to make a few more in a minute. Um, I am also doing this for the challenge of 100 things uh, set by Rebecca of Dances with Pitbulls. This will be the number two, still have a long way to go but hey I'm really liking this and um, so I'm going ahead with it and see where it will end. Uh, here I have uh, grabbed some pieces of paper that I, uh, which were sized uh, A4 and I used them for something else and these are actually the leftovers and whenever the size was reasonable I fold it in half and that will be a base for a card. So the next thing that I did was taking out the container, the plastic container that I have uh, where I keep all my scraps like uh, painted papers, scrapbook papers, wallpaper samples, tissue papers, even a few bits of fabric and lace are in there and printed papers. And uh, whenever I don't want to throw it away, I put it in that container. So that was the, um, the place to search for um, backgrounds and nice things to put on the cards. So, and this all fits in Rebecca's challenge of using up, uh, making 100 things with uh, using up your stash. And um, even though I'm not doing this uh, crafting uh, stuff uh, all that long, I think about a year or two maybe, um, I, I already do have quite a stash and I do collect a lot of things that uh, of which I think could be useful in one of my craft uh, projects or mixed media projects, so I have a lot of stuff. Um, the first, uh, the first project were the eyeball bookmarks that I created just a little while ago. Uh, and that was something I had all these bookmarks laying around in my drawer uh, because whenever I bought a book, there comes one uh, with it. So, and I never throw them away. And so that was the perfect thing for the challenge to use. And uh, now I'm thinking, well, uh, Vicky's uh, videos really inspired me, so I thought to give it a go and use up uh, quite a few things of my scraps and bits and pieces of paper. So that is what I'm doing right now. I have searched for some backgrounds to put on the base. And uh, at first I was gluing them down with uh, a glue tape kind of roll thing, glue tape, how do you call it? Um, it was a very cheap one and it didn't work. It broke down on me and so I threw it away. Uh, thought of using a glue stick, but to stay in the theme and into the challenge, I had this big bottle of tacky glue also in my stash for quite a while. And I thought, well, it's perfect to use for this. So I'm using that to glue down all the backgrounds. And this is actually a piece of painted papers that I uh, created once. I'm guessing I started doing um, art journal page or something like that uh, and never finished it. So using that as a background for my card and gluing it down with a tacky glue. And um, 
trimming all the pieces of paper into the right size, I'm using uh, the guillotine by Tonic Studio. Really like that device um, for cutting um, small pieces of paper. And these are some scrapbook papers. I believe it's from uh, a pack of six by six inches scrapbook papers. I have a big pile of those and these were some leftovers that I had. So the base, the background uh, is all done now uh, and, and now I need to find me some stuff that I could use on top of these uh, cards to finish them off. And this is actually uh, something I created myself for a digital scrapbook kit and I printed it out and I thought that could go nice on this card. For some of you know that I was a digital scrapbook designer. I still am, by the way. But um, so you can imagine, and I'm doing that for almost 10 years now, uh, that I have quite a stash of digital scrapbook products on my computer and embellishments and papers and word arts and all kinds of things. And um, a lot of those are perfect to use in um, art journaling and mixed media. Going ahead, making my cards. Uh, this is actually uh, embellishment, a butterfly that I bought at Action one time. I have quite a few of those. And the circled paper was a, uh, a painted paper that I created once. And I cut out a circle and glued it down onto the brown uh, base so that is a card done uh, the other one with a circle uh, of heart and i put a little brat with a heart on it to go with that so that card is also done uh, these teal and aqua colored paper flowers i got from janine my friend uh, a little while ago and I use a few of those to uh, glue down on this small card. And uh, because that is kind of 3D um, uh, flower, I'm using the, the golden gel medium for that to glue those flowers down. It's a very good to use, good glue for heavier stuff. Uh, so I have a few cards done already. And this one, um, caused me a bit of trouble because of the busy background. I, I just could have left it like it is. That would be perfectly fine. But I wanted to add just a little bit more and I was searching for a quote or a word or a nice sticker or whatever to go on that. And here I'm cutting out a sticker, um, seeing, try uh, if that would work, but mm, didn't like it that much and here I have some uh, word stickers but in the end I decided on using this black uh, cardstock that I had and my rub-ons. These rub-ons are so old, uh, probably about 10 years, even older I guess, and a lot of them have completely dried out and, and don't, uh, you can use them as a rub-on. Uh, often I use them to just uh, cut a piece out and stick it down with glue. But luckily for me, these white letters uh, still worked. Uh, most of the rub-ons I have are fonts and in white and I have them in black and even red. Uh, so that is, that is a thing that I really need to use up. So what I do here is rub on the word thank you. I cut out a sticker, a uh, circle, sorry, uh, from that black cardstock. And now uh, there it says thank you. And I'm using a white uh, pen. I'm not sure which one that I use because I always have a struggle with these white pens. And uh, one time the Signo ball uh, works very well and the, uh, the next time it doesn't and I need to use a, another one. So, but here um, I s outline the circle and I'm sticking it down with 
a double-sided tape, so it has a bit of 3D effect, a bit of dimension. It lifts off the card a little bit. So, and here I have a nice thank you card. And the last one, the yellow one, um, I'm using a bit of washi tape. I have a big drawer full of washi tapes, something I need to use up as well. And I'm cutting out an arrow shape of it and I will uh, stick down uh, a word sticker that I have which says love. And that's it. It's really simple, uh, really um, easy to make and cards, you always need, always need some cards to send out, right, uh, for happy mail or uh, to friends and family. So this is a very easy way to uh, create them. Thanks to Crafting Vicky. Uh, make sure to check the description box because I will leave you some links. Hope you've enjoyed it and see you again very soon. Bye bye.